Looks like a big cow with a, a mane around the neck. They're big, woolly, dark brown, horns, big chests. It's big and it has horns too and long hair. <laughs> oh, they're almost extinct. Uh, they taste really good. Uh, they got horns. They got lots of fur on them. And oh, that's, yeah, that's a buffalo. Bison are the largest native North American land mammal. Uh, and wood bison are actually a third larger than plains bison. Plains bison evolved on the central Great Plains of North America, and in doing so, they, they developed physical traits that define them as a species. And for plains bison, that means exaggerated characteristics of their hair coat. When there were 30 million bison roaming North America, if you were a breeding age male and you wanted to be able to pass your genes on, you needed to first out bluff your rival bulls. So plains bison evolved pelage or hair coat characteristics that make them look larger in profile. Uh, and that includes their beards, their uh, neck manes, uh, the, the shafts, the long pendulous hair on the back of the front legs, a clearly demarcated or edged cape that separates the front shoulders from the back, uh, from the ribs and hips, and a hump that uh, is well developed and centered over the front legs. That hump is, uh, is crucial for their survival because it provides them with a, a pivot point that allows them to spin very quickly in combat and defense against predators, and it provides them with a, a body structure that allows them to travel great distances easily. So all of the characteristics of plains bison are adaptations that allow them to survive on the Great Plains of North America. Well, a bison is a member of the cow family. It's the largest land mammal on the North American continent, and it was found historically uh, throughout virtually right across North America. There was a time when they went almost from the west coast right across to the east coast, and from right from the Gulf of Mexico up into the uh, boreal lands in the north. And as a very large land mammal, it generally worked in, or traveled in herds, but there were times when it was uh, a very uh, solitary species. Most people are familiar for what they look like from you know pictures of hunting on the Great Plains when the when uh, the uh, early explorers and the First Nations were crossing the plains and the first railroads went across the plains. To learn more about bison and why they belong in Banff National Park, visit our website, bisonbelong.ca.